folks, this will be a lesson on hi-ho silver lining. Um, and this is going to use a technique that I would call a staccato strum. So what we're going to be doing is strumming our chord and then we're going to cut it short by muting the strings with our right hand. Okay. So you can do this, you can get away with this with a thumb or with a finger or plectrum, whatever you like. I do it with a finger, um, so I'll talk you through doing that. Um, and, and that's it really. You've got your staccato pattern through the verses and then a little bit of strumming in the chorus, um, just normal strumming. We'll have a look at that when we get there. Um, so we're starting out with a D chord and what we're going to do is do two bars worth of downstrokes. going to put that staccato in okay so normally when you're strumming you want to keep kind of pretty loose over here and keep pretty floppy let that hand kind of be a drop up and down um, let gravity do its work through there okay but here we're actually going to do a slightly slightly smaller move now I don't want you to really tense up when you do this you shouldn't ever kind of really tense but it will be a smaller more refined movement This needs to happen fairly quickly okay you need to strum through and then drop down on the strings so i strum through with my nail and then drop this part of my hand down onto the strings okay now notice there's no kind of twisting of the hand or anything like this so don't do anything weird and wonderful and you know it's just a strum and the drop down the mute should really be an extension of that strum. So strum, drop. Okay, not strum, think about it, and then drop, it's strum, drop. And you almost kind of end up with a sort of almost circular sort of motion in a way. Okay, so that's the staccato strum. That's what you need to crack. So do that real slow until you can get that flow. Now when you're doing this staccato strum, um, it can all be done off of the right hand. Okay? So you strum and you move over here, whatever you chord you're on. Some people, um, and I do this myself occasionally, like to kind of pulse the fingers in and out in the left hand as well. So you may see me do that occasionally. And the reason for that is, firstly, once that hand is applied on there, once they're muted, the fingers don't actually need to be down anymore. So it's a way of kind of not wearing your fingers and your hand out so fast. They kind of get a little breath between each chord, okay, between having to push down. But also, um, in general, with muting, the muting of the strings, you can mute a fretted note just by releasing the pressure on the left hand and letting it raise not off of the string just release the pressure and because it's touching it because it's come away from the fret it'll stop ringing out so it's kind of almost a bit like a double mute um, this one guarantees that any open strings will ring out because you can't stop an open string if, if you've got no fingers on it So if you want, you can practice kind of pulsing those fingers in and out. You might find that kind of helps the technique, help keeps those notes short. Or you might just want to focus on keeping it down and let the right hand do the work. Okay, it's up to you. So as you go through the song then, throughout the whole verse, you're going to use that staccato technique. Okay, so you've got D. That's it, that's the pattern. You do that twice. D for two bars, G for two bars, C, G, D, A. Okay, do that twice, and then you're off to the chorus. Um, and on the approach to the chorus, um, you can stay muting on the A. Or if you like, if you want to kind of ramp it up, you can break 
breaking to strumming at that point. So you could go through the last line of the verse, C, G, D, A. You could use that as a kind of build into the chorus if you want, okay? I think I've played it on the video as, as muting, but you could build at that point if you want, up to you. Um, when you hit the chorus then, you're gonna be doing um, a pretty consistent strumming pattern here through most of the bars, which is gonna be down, 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 up, down. There are other patterns you could use, but that's a nice simple one. You've probably got enough on your plate thinking about that staccato rhythm. Um, but I like to break into a strumming pattern here in the chorus because if you know the song um, and you've played it live before, then um, the chorus is a big kind of sing-along moment, okay? Even if people don't know the words for the rest of the song, they probably know the words for the chorus, okay? And they're all up on their feet, drinks spinning over the person next to them, singing along to hi-ho, silver lining. So breaking into strumming at that point, that gives the song that lift, you also then get the effect of when you get to the end, the things kind of dropping back down when they go back to that staccato fit. So it's quite nice having those kind of two levels dynamically in the song. So strumming wise then in your chorus, I say it's down, 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 up, down. Um, and we've also got a kind of swing feel going on here as well. We're not down, down, Robotic, we want down, 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 up, down, 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 down. We want that swing, that upstroke comes a little bit late. So D, D7, G, and then A7, G. Okay, this is going to be two strums on each chord the first time. Then you go through again, D, D7. Now, if you're finding it tough to do A7 to G, then both times you could do the half notes of one, two, three, four. But I quite like doing that the first time and that the second. I think that kind of gives it a little bit of kind of a finale to the chorus and then you drop back in is staccato okay so it's up to you if you want to tweak the arrangement a little bit but that's the gist of, uh, of hi-ho silver line okay that's what i think works quite well for it um so have a quick go then at playing along with me i'll take it from the top i'll take it nice and slow and i'll play down to the end of the chorus here we go let's try something like this oh one two three So that's it, okay? That is hi-ho silver lining using that staccato technique, okay? Now as a side note, you could play this without that and you could still follow that chart and play a nice rendition of this. Um, but persevere with that staccato and it'll be another type of strumming in your kind of strumming arsenal, another thing to have up your sleeve. And it's uh, quite a nice feel to put onto the song, okay? Especially songs like this that have got that quite kind of stompy sort of feel to them. Um, so take that away, have some fun with it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.